Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com and I'm here at the Verizon MiFi 4510L. This is a mobile hotspot that uses Verizon's 4G LTE network. Prior to this coming out, we've seen 4G LTE mobile broadband devices, but they've all been USB modems, so uh, they only work with one computer. This, for, this is a MiFi, which is a mobile hotspot, which means it can transmit a Wi-Fi signal and work with, uh, I think it's up to eight devices. Usually that's the number for these. But anyway, this is uh, 4G LTE. It's a MiFi. Uh, we've used MiFi's in the past, so everyone pretty much knows what these things do. The, the main thing with this 4510L is uh, that it's faster than the other ones. It has a 4G SIM card in there, uh, multicolor service state LED, external antenna connector. So there's some cool features here. But at the end of the day, oh, and there's e-ink for uh, the display on the outside. But anyway, like I was saying, at the end of the day, it's a 4G mobile hotspot. It's three ounces. It's uh, 3.7 inches by 2.3 inches by half an inch thick. Battery life is up to five hours. And it transmits 802.11 BGN. So. That's the standard stuff. Now let's take a quick look at the device. I want to keep this video nice and short. So it looks a lot like the rest of the My the MiFi devices. I think it's a little bit thicker than some of the ones we've seen in the past. Obviously, the outside is a little bit more complex. So we'll take off wrapping. So Verizon MiFi 4G LTE power button. There's the e ink. It's a uh, device is off, but you can see the e-ink is persistent, which might be a little bit confusing if the antenna, the signal is gonna be persistent because obviously it's off, so it doesn't have full battery coverage. But the good thing about the e-ink is it doesn't take any power. So past that, we see a kind of chrome ring around it, glossy black. There's your external antenna connection, which is cool. That's probably for use if you wanna use this as your home device, you know, LTE or these devices are pulling down really serious speeds, so it's definitely an option. Then we have micro USB. On the back we have uh, just, you know, soft touch rubber and then this uh, battery connector. There'll be a SIM card under there. And then that's it. Little indicator there. And that's all there is to it. Just quickly go through the rest of the box. Lots of instructions battery, which is why it didn't turn on, AC adapter, here's your cable to plug it in, and a little carrying case. Check back to geek.com for the full review.